Okay. This uh, Vinyasa class, 60 minutes. So I invite you to come into the most, or your most comfortable seat in your space. Um, I suggest Vajrasana on your knees. Unless you have knee ankle issues, you can stay into an easy cross-legged position. So we'll be going through uh, some interesting moves. So we'll start, <coughs> as usual, with a pranayam, kapalbati just so that you clean a bit of uh, mucus through the nose so that you liberate a little bit more the um, airways in the nose to breathe hopefully a little bit deeper throughout the whole practice. Also we already pra practice to cleanse the frontal brain so preparing for any mental work for the week or rather probably for the day because uh, we should practice that every day uh, and it's also helping to uh, warm up the core muscles good for digestion and actually very good for balancing and strengthening the nervous system. So very important practice. I'll quickly show you how this goes. So you can place your right hand on top of your left, relaxing your palms, or sorry, the back of your hands on your thighs lap. And you can keep your pinky against your abdomen so that you feel the movement of the abdomen. So you should really be using the abdomen to um, really contract navel towards the spine so that you compress all that so that the diaphragm goes up and you expel the air out the nostrils short short sharp exhalations out the nose so I'll just quickly show you how this goes shoulders elbows are relaxed spine is nice and straight so you probably want to kind of pull your heart a little bit but chest stays relaxed gazing forwards Face is relaxed. And you can take a deep inhale in through the nose. And then you start snapping your abdomen. So just like this, we'll go for two rounds of 20 today. So if you can't go up to 20, that's okay. Just um, do what you can. No straining. If you have stomach issues, you had uh, recent operations less than six months. Heart issue, high blood pressure, vertigo, you might want to uh, take it really easy on this one or even just skip it for normal breathing. Otherwise, see how you feel, paying attention to any difference of pressure in the ear. If that happens, again, you slow down or even stop. Otherwise, we get started. So nice, straight spine, shoulders roll back maybe a little bit, but relaxed. You want to really relax, no straining. And then you exhale the air out your nostrils, emptying the lungs. And then you take a deep inhale in through the nose. And you start pumping. Snapping the abdomen. you've reached 20, you stop taking a couple of breaths just to relax, to feel in the body. Notice the effects of the pranayam. And if you feel fine, no difference of pressure in the ears, we go again, last round, up to 20. Maybe see if you can go a little bit stronger. Extending the air out the nostrils, and take a deep inhale, and you get pumping. Exhaling completely, returning to normal breathing, just really connecting deep with the feelings, the sensations, the chest, abdomen, in your head, your brain, your mind.
that he's seen the feelings into the spine, the nervous system. To go deeper, connecting body, mind and spirit on our sacred space. We'll open up the practice with our traditional Om Chet, three rounds of Om. When you exhale out the mouth with chanting Om as long as possible. Exhaling the air out the nostrils, you take a deep inhale. Opening your eyes, we're gonna get going with some movement so you can interlace your fingers and stretching your palms down and forward as you inhale and you lift up. See if you can keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Opening out the arms, reaching out to the sides. See if you can keep that into uh, the same plane. Switching the interlacing your fingers. We go again, inhaling, see if you can lengthen, reach up to the sky, shoulders are relaxed, opening out to the sides, we take one more, switching the feet, interlacing your fingers, reach up, you release now, this time you're going to release your right hand to the floor, and you inhale your left arm back up, see if you can get a little tilt to the right side, maybe bringing your elbow towards the floor, inhale coming back up, you release your left hand, switching the interlacing of your fingers, stretch up, shoulders are still relaxed, exhale you release, left hand to the floor, inhale your right arm back up, you will tilt to the side, see if you can stay into that same plane, inhale reach up, and this time you release your arms and you can interlace your fingers behind your back. See if you can press your palms together and you roll your shoulders back, chest forward, half forward, maybe looking up and see if you can stretch your knuckles back and down towards the floor, maybe a little arch into the spine, slowly coming back, you release, maybe shaking your shoulders, rolling your shoulders, 
And again, switching the interlacing of your fingers behind your back. Maybe arching back a little bit further this time if you feel already a little bit warm and ready for more stretch. See if you can keep maybe that length into the heart, into the spine, and as you exhale, you hinge at the hip level, folding forward. So see if you can reach the forehead towards the floor, reaching your arms up to the sky. Inhale, you release. Stretching your arms forward again, you can interlace your fingers, reach up. Now this time as you exhale, you're going to twist to the right. Right hand behind, back of the left hand onto the outside of your right knee, twisting into the spine. Spine is nice and long. Nice and slow as you come back in hanging, you can bring your right hand onto the outside of your left knee, crossing your arms. See if you can come slightly forward, again lengthening into the heart, lengthening into the spine. The inhale, you come back and you can hug your shoulders. See if you can reach behind, using your fingertips, reach behind towards your shoulder blades so that you really hug nice and strong. You can stay there or if you want to go further, you can already go into Garudasana, getting the palms together with your arms crossed. Maybe a little lift of your elbows, relaxing into the shoulders. You can keep that length. As you exhale, you can lean forward, touching your elbows to the floor, keeping the length into the spine, nice and slow, inhale, come back, unwind your arms, maybe giving a bit of a shake, switching the interlacing of your fingers, same thing on the other side, still working with the breath, inhale, lengthen, exhale, you soften to twist. Inhale, lengthening into the spine, so keep working with the breath. Exhale, you soften, one more breath. Inhale, really lengthen, exhale, you soften into your shoulders. Next, inhale, coming back, left hand onto the outside of the right knee. Leaning forward slightly as you exhale, inhale, coming up. Again, giving yourself a good hug, see if you can really reach back. So your elbows should be stacked onto each other so that you can maybe go for your Garudasana if you feel you can go a bit further. Lift up but keep relaxing into the shoulder blades. Spine is nice and long. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, coming up. Relaxing the arms. And you can come forward into a cat and cow. Knees under your Shoulders, you can bring your hands under your shoulders, or probably if you want to go into a child's pose almost and get your elbow to touch your knee, your palm should be just about in the right position here. And you can just slowly start to warm up your palm so you can maybe lift up the heels of the hands. Spine is nice and straight for now. Just getting to Warm up the wrists a little bit, paying attention to the placement of your hands so your fingers should be spread out nice and wide, trying to have an even distribution between your fingers, so really spreading your fingers and your index fingers should be parallel to each other, pointing forward. Now that this is warm, you can release your palms onto the floor, see if you can really anchor into the heel of your hands, and we're going to get little circles to the right forward to the left and back really getting into your wrists your rotations so you don't need to go too far just getting some movement feeling into the wrists elbows shoulders maybe also the hips maybe going further if you feel you can take that you can flip your right fingers towards your knee so that the crease of the elbow is pointing forward. If this is too much, you just stay with normal position of the hands and we go into some circles one way and then the other way. Keep working with the breath. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. 
nice and slow, just really feeling the breath along with the movement, switching hands, keeping your left hand, and you start rotations on one way, still working with your breath, and then going the other way. Then we'll return either to a normal position or if you want more, maybe both hands and you can rotate opposite way that we did before. So if you have your fingers pointing forward, just like the first round, see if you can really feel the difference. Maybe a little bit warmer already. And then coming back to neutral position, we'll take just a few carton cows to get into the spine. So as you inhale, navel towards the floor, looking up. And as you exhale, you round the spine. So see if you can push into your hands, whichever way they are. Shoulders up to the sky. So really rounding into the back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, rounding the spine, looking at your navel. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, coming back to neutral position, walking your hands forward, going into a child's pose, forehead to the floor, and see if you can really lift your shoulders, shoulder blades, armpits, extending your arms forward, you can even tentai your fingers, lifting the palms, and then just like we did before, maybe see if you can work your heel of the hands up and down. So feeling the lengthening into the upper arms, shoulders, as you lift your palms. Working with the breath, a few more like this. See if you can really feel that lengthening as you lift your palms off the floor. And planting your palms, coming forward again, making sure that your fingers are spread out nice and wide, index finger pointing forward, parallel to each other. You tuck your toes under, keeping the bend to your knees. So again, just like we did before, when you lift your palms, you really anchor your palms down, pressing onto your index. So you can start lifting your knees, keeping the bend into your knees. You push onto your hands, especially onto this index finger, so that you lengthen through the arms, through the spine, reaching back with your hips. Knees are still bent, and then you start to straighten your legs so that you're reaching up to the sky with your hips to find this down dog. We'll take a few undulation movements in the down dog. So as you inhale, you can come forward over your wrists, chaturanga. If this is too much, you can always already bend your knees, bring your knees to the floor. Everyone bends the knees, maybe hovering the knees over the floor. And you start pushing as you exhale onto your hands, reaching your hips back and up, straightening the legs. Inhale, coming forward, chaturanga, plank pose. Exhale, bending into the knees, stretching the hips back and up. So we start stretching the spine back and then we go up. Inhale, coming forward, bending into the knees. Exhale, stretch back. Maybe a couple more like this, inhaling, coming forward, bending into the knees, reach back, trying to really work with the breath, feeling the movement, feeling the lengthening into the spine, one more, and then coming into a down dog, taking a moment here to really feel the breath, maybe connecting to your ujjayi breath, in through the nose, out through the nose, scraping into the back of the throat, making a little noise. You can take your dog for a walk, wagging your tail, anything that feels good. I like to move my hips a little bit more to the side to feel a good stretch onto the side of the body from the armpit to the hips, outer leg. Nice and slow, looking forward, you can walk all the way to the top of the mat. 
soft bend into your knees. You can get hold of your elbows, your right dog, so resting your chest on your thighs. Head is heavy, just feeling the pull into the back of the legs, the stretch into the spine. Nice and slow as you release your arms, you can start to roll your spine up vertebrae by vertebrae, coming into the standing position. And you're going to interlace your fingers just like we did before. Stretching your arms down, forward and up. See if you can lift your heart, maybe looking up. And as you exhale, you release, folding forward so you can keep yourself bending to your knees until we get really warm. Standing with a few uh, vinyasas, stepping your right leg back. You drop your knee, point your toes, and as you inhale, you reach your arms up. Relaxing into your hips if you can keep your lower ribs in. You exhale, you release, planting your hands again as usual, paying attention to the position of your hands, checking your back toes, stretching back. And as you exhale, bring your knees down, coming forward. So make sure that you really protract your shoulders, shoulder blades are working towards the hips. You bring the weight of the body onto the shoulders, bringing your chest, forehead to the floor. So stomach doesn't touch, releasing all the way down onto your abdomen, you point your toes, half cobra, inhaling, peeling your heart off the floor using your back muscles, as you exhale, you release, tuck your toes, and just like we did before, you can push onto your hands, reaching back with your hips, lifting your knees, so keep reaching back with your hips from your fingers, and then you straighten your legs for your down dog. Inhaling your right leg up, keeping the hips nice and squared. As you exhale, all control movement, you bring your knee to your chest, stepping forward right between your hands. You drop your back knee, point your toes, inhale your arms up. Maybe you can get a little bit more of a length, reaching your fingers up to the sky, nice and slow. As you exhale, you release, stepping forward. Soft bend into your knees. You can get hold, maybe opposite elbows if you remember which way you went. Again, soft bend into your knees, head is heavy, and maybe you can sway from one side to the other. If you feel you can take that further, nice and strong, stable into your feet. Coming back to the center, slowly releasing your arms, inhaling to come up, swinging your arms up, exhale, you release. Hands to your heart, switching, switching the interlacing of your fingers. Reach up. Exhale, folding forward. Still bending into your knees if you feel you need to. Inhaling, left leg back. Drop the knee, point the toes. Reach up. Exhale, release. Plant your hands. Stepping back, Chaturanga, exhaling knees, chest, forehead, so arching into the spine again. You bring the weight of the body onto the shoulders, elbows are still off the floor. Slowly releasing all the way down onto your abdomen, you point your toes, use your back muscles to inhale, maybe into your full cobra, if you feel you can go already, <coughs> stretching your elbows. Again, you relax the shoulders, shoulder blades towards the hips. Slowly releasing, tucking your toes, again pushing onto your hands, lift your shoulders, lift your knees, lengthen from your index finger all the way to the hips, and then up, down dog, couple of breath there, feeling that down dog. Next inhale, left leg up, exhale, stepping forward, you drop your back knee, point your toes, reach your arms up. Exhale, release, stepping forward, nice and slow as you inhale, coming all the way up, palms together, exhale, release, now interlacing your fingers behind your back, just like we did before, pressing your palms together, rolling your shoulders back, 
lifting your heart, maybe looking up, nice and slowly, exhale, you can fall forward, still with your hands interlaced, you exhale, you release, hands to the floor, right leg back, again you drop your knee, point your toes, inhale, your arms up, and as you exhale, again, interlacing your fingers, same way, pressing your palms, if you can straighten your elbows, and reach back with your shoulders, so feeling the stretch into your heart, maybe a slight arch into the back, so if you can look up, drop your hips, and you start stretching your knuckles towards your back knee, nice and slow as you exhale, keeping the interlacing of your hands, see if you can start coming forward, folding to the inside, of your left knee, reaching your arms up as much as possible. So drop your head down, crown of the head is working towards the floor. Exhale, you release. Hands to the floor. Chaturanga, stepping back, plank pose, building up onto the practice. If you feel you can go further, you can keep your body nice and straight. You start bending into your elbows, keeping your elbows in close to the body. Inhaling for cobra or up dog. Your choice. Slowly. Stretching back into your down dog. Inhaling right leg up. Exhale. Coming forward. Drop your back knee. Point your toes. Keeping your left hand onto the floor. Inhaling right arm up. Coming into an easy twist. Maybe tucking your back toes. Lifting your back leg. So that you lengthen really from your back heel all the way to the crown of the head. Reaching up to the sky with your right hand. And as you exhale, you release, stepping forward, nice and slow as you inhale, spine is long, reaching all the way up, palms together, exhale, you release, again we switch the interlacing of your fingers, stretching your arms back, nice and relaxed into the shoulders, maybe looking up, as you exhale, folding forward, reaching your arms up, Exhale, release, hands to the floor, inhale, left leg back, drop the knee, point the toes, lift up on the inhale, exhale, same interlacing of your fingers, so probably maybe going the other way, see if you can really start arching into the spine so that you pull your chest forward and up, looking up, fingers are reaching towards your back knee. Again, as you exhale, see if you can keep the length into the spine, keeping your <coughs> thumbs away from your sacrum, you fall forward, crown of the head is working towards the floor, so you should be feeling good stretch onto the inside and back of the right leg, slowly releasing, plant your hands, tuck your back toes, we're going through vinyasa, so choose the vinyasa that is appropriate for your on practice, nice and slow, extending all the way down, inhaling, cobra or up dog. Looking up, shoulders are still relaxed. Exhale, you stretch back, down dog. Inhaling, left leg up. Exhale, all control movement, knee to chest, stepping forward between your hands, you can drop your back knee, keeping your right hand nice and firm into the earth. Inhale, lift up, left arm. So see if you can really stack your left shoulder on top of your right, maybe tucking your back toes, lifting your back leg, if that's available, so you really lengthen from your back heel, so your back heel is reaching back, crown of the head forward, so feeling that lengthening, and you twist, exhale, releasing, stepping forward, nice and slow, the inhale, reaching all the way up, palms together, and as you exhale, you can open out to the right, arms in T-shaped position, inhale, reach up, exhale to the left, inhale, reach up, bending into your knees, Utkatasana, keeping your arms up as much as possible, see so if you can sink down a bit more, so weight of the body should be onto your heels as much as possible, so you should be able to lift your toes, shoulders are still relaxed, nice and slow, the exhale, you release, inhale, right leg back, again you drop your knee, point your toes, inhale, your arms up, 
the exhale, you open out to the right, so just like a sort of warrior two. And as you inhale, you're gonna come with your right arm forward, coming under so you can hug yourself like we did at the start. Going further for your Gaudasan arms, reaching your elbows up, relaxing into the shoulders. Maybe you can take a little arch into your spine, looking up. And as you exhale, still with your Gaudasan arms, we did that before, you start folding onto the inside of your legs. So see if you can reach your elbows towards the floor, relaxing into your hips as much as possible. Nice and slow, unwinding your arms, you can plant your right hand, lifting your left arm up, coming into that twist, tucking your back toes, lifting the back leg if that's available. Keep lengthening crown of the head forward, stacking your shoulders. Slowly releasing, left hand onto the floor, stepping back Chaturanga, lowering all the way down, going through your vinyasa of your choice. Inhaling, cobra or up dog. Exhale, stretch back. You can keep bending into your knees if you want to reach back into your down dog. Inhaling, right leg up. Bend your knees, stack your hips. See if you can keep your shoulders nice and squared as much as possible. Maybe your left heel is on the floor. Nice and slow. The exhale, stepping forward. And we're going to go into a pyramid pose. So you can maybe bring your back foot slightly forward, staying high onto the ball of your foot, hip up, fingertips aligned with your front heel, and you start working towards straightening your front leg, squaring your hips. So you're going to be pressing your right big toe mount onto the floor, spine is straight as much as possible. So you can be onto your fingertips, or if you can go a bit further, maybe you can bring your palms onto the floor, and you keep breathing. If you want to keep working on your wrists here, maybe you can even do a little uh, wrist warm up like we did before, if that's available, but just make sure that you don't compromise uh, the hips, the front leg. So if your knee is bent, you can maybe do it. Otherwise, if you're struggling, just stay nice and high onto your fingertips so that the spine is flat as much as possible and your hips are nice and squared. Very slowly as you exhale you can bend into your front knee. Stepping forward. Inhaling all the way up. Palms together. And as you exhale you open up to the left. Nice T-shape with your arms. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right, inhale center, exhale into your chair pose, Utkatasana, sinking your hips down as much as possible, see if you can reach your arms back, spine is nice and straight, slowly exhale your release, folding forward, inhaling left leg back, drop your knee, put your toes, reaching your arms up, exhale opening out to the left, the old sort of warrior two pose. As you inhale, bringing your left arm under, you can give yourself a good hug so that you reach and you bring your elbows on top of each other for your Gaudasan arms. Again, you can start to go into an arch into the back, lifting your elbows, relaxing into the shoulders. Nice and slow as you exhale, coming forward. See if you can bring your elbows to the floor so really relaxing into your right hip so that you can fold on the inside of the leg. Maybe feeling the stretch also onto your left quad. Nice and slow, releasing your arms, planting your left hand, reaching your right arm up for your twist. Maybe taking that to the next level. You keep lengthening into the spine. Nice and slow as you exhale, you release, hands onto the floor, stepping back, vinyasa of your choice, exhale, inhale, so one breath, one movement, exhale, stretch back to your down dog, inhaling, left leg up, 
bend your knees, stack your hips to see if you can really keep your shoulders nice and squared as much as possible. So you're going to be pressing onto your right hand, dropping your left shoulder. Nice and slow as you exhale, all control movement, stepping forward right between your hands. We're going for a pyramid pose, maybe bringing your back foot in slightly. So you really want to energize into the back leg to help you with this pose. So left heel is nice and high so that you can bring your right hip forward, squaring your hips to the mat. You really want to square your hips to the front edge of the mat, maybe onto your fingertips or maybe hands flat. Spine is nice and straight. So you really want to lengthen into the spine, pressing that big toe out at the front. Again, you can take maybe some movement with your wrists if you feel you're very comfortable with your legs and you're not losing the squaring of your hips, even maybe bringing your fingertips back. If that's available, if you have more flexibility Otherwise, just trying to stay high, and if your knee needs to be slightly bent, that's fine. One more breath to lengthen. And as you bend into your front knee, exhaling, you step forward. Inhaling, coming all the way up. Bending into your knees, Utkatasana. Folding forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, you fold, planting your hands, and you can walk back or jump back, going through Vinyasa, Chaturanga, lowering all the way down, elbows are brushing onto the side of the body. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog, look up. Exhale, stretch back, Down Dog. So we should be quite warm by now. So we can get into a little sequence. Standing sequence that is going to be a bit of fun with our, our Garudasan arms. Inhaling your right leg up. Again, all control movement as you exhale, knee to chest, stepping forward. Spinning your back heel down 45 degrees with your back foot, rising up to a warrior one pose. As you exhale, you can release your arms. And cross your right arm, um, left arm under, pressing your palms together. So we go back into uh, a Garudasan, straightening the front leg. And then as you exhale, you bend into your front knee and see if you can get that little arch into your back. So that might be a little bit wobbly. Don't worry if you're wobbly. Uh, that's normal. That's a bit of a difficult pose. Just do what you can. Lifting up and as you exhale, just like we did before, you're going to fall onto the inside of your leg. See if you can bring your elbows towards the floor. Relax into your hips. Breathing nice and deep. Slowly releasing your gavelas and arms. Stretching your left arm forward, up and around to come up into a warrior two. Rising up with your knee bent at the front, adjusting your back foot, adjusting your stance. If you need to widen, shorten your stance, your choice. Nice and slow. Getting into your pose, stretching your arms, relaxing into your hips. Keep looking at your front hand. And then as you exhale, flip your front palm. And we're going to reverse keeping the bend into the front knee so you reach your right arm up so see if you can keep your body onto the plane the axis of the mat same plane stacking your shoulders reaching back exhale your release when you your arms plant your hands stretching back chaturanga coming all the way down onto your abdomen releasing your toes releasing your fingers stretching your arms back as you inhale shalabhasana Lifting your legs, lifting your arms, lifting your chest, chin up, rolling your eyes upwards. See if you can keep lifting your leg, no bend into your knees, no bend into your elbows. Exhale, release. Planting your hands under your shoulders, tucking your toes under, pushing onto your hands again. You can bend into your knees, stretching your hips back. Lift up, down dog. Whoa, okay, so we do 
The same thing on the left side, <coughs> building up onto this sequence, inhaling left leg up. Again, slow control movement, use your core, knee to chest, slowly stepping forward, rising up on an inhale, you spin your back heel down, 45 degrees, arms up. You exhale, right arm under, so you're wrapping your arms for your Garudasan, straightening into your front leg, lifting into your elbows, and as you exhale, you bend into your front knee, see if you can keep lifting into your elbows, relaxing into the shoulder blades, maybe slight arch into your back, and you really want to be continually pressing your back here, outside edge of the back foot on the floor. Exhale to come forward onto the inside of your legs. So see if you can reach your elbows towards the floor. <coughs> Again, back leg is nice and energized. You keep pressing the outside edge of your foot. Nice and slow, you can start. Release. Extending your left arm, sorry, right arm forward. Coming up for your warrior two, adjusting your stance, back foot 90 degree angle, sending your Left knee forward, you relax into your shoulders, looking forward. Couple of breaths there, settling into your down dog, making sure that you keep that bend into the front knee, flipping the front palm, and we reverse. So you stay nice and light onto your back leg, so no pressure onto the back leg, just reaching up and back with your left hand. Nice and slow as you exhale, you windmill your arms down, hanging your hands. Stretching back, Chaturanga, going through Vinyasa, exhale, coming down, inhale, look up, exhale, stretch back, down, up. Bending into your knees, looking forward, and you can walk or hop forward, lengthening into the spine, exhale, you fold, inhale, coming all the way up. Palms together. Utkatasana, bending into your knees. Nice and slow. Exhale, folding forward. Fingertips to the floor. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthening into the spine, halfway lift. Exhale, you fold, lifting your hands. You can walk back or jump back, lowering all the way down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, stretch back. Down dog. So we keep going with. A little sequence, just building up onto it. Inhaling the right leg up. Exhale, step forward. Rising up, warrior one. Straightening your front leg. Left arm under. Rebending into your front knee, maybe reaching up, looking up, slight arch into your back. And as you exhale, you fall forward. Nice and long to the inside of the leg, keeping the front knee bent, unwinding your arms. And you can stretch your left arm forward, up and around to open up into your warrior two. Flipping your front palm, your reverse. Keep the bend into your front knee. And this time as you inhale, you straighten your front leg, coming back up. And as you exhale, you're going to reach forward with your Right hand for triangle pose, Trikonasana. So you start really reaching forward. Leg is straight. Finding your Trikonasana, either right hand onto the floor or maybe dangling onto the outside of the leg. That's fine. If you want to go further, you can also come into a half bind. So <clears throat> left hand into the back, getting hold of your right thigh if you can so that you open the chest a little bit more. Taking a few breaths here, just to really lengthen into the spine, stacking the shoulders. Looking down, maybe still with your half bind, and you can bend into your front knee, bringing your right hand slightly forward and off to the side in front of your right foot, lifting your back leg, and see if you can come into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Lifting your back leg, keeping your hips nice and stacked as much as possible. Lengthening into that back leg. See if you can reach back with your left heel, flexing your toes, maybe looking up. 
nice and slow you can release your half bind if you haven't already hands onto the floor square your hips you know standing splits so see if you can square your hips but keep reaching back and up pointing your toes forehead towards your shins nice and slow you release left foot to meet the right inhale lengthen halfway lift exhale you fold forehead to shins bending into your knees with katasana reaching your arms up Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, you fold, plant your hands, walk back, jump back, going through vinyasa of your choice. Inhale, look up. Exhale, stretch back. We're going for the other side, inhaling, left leg up. Nice and slow, control movement, using your core, stepping forward. Spin your back in down, rise up. Straightening your front leg, right arm under for your Gaurasan, bending into your front knee, reaching your elbows up, again keep energizing onto your back leg as you exhale, you fold forward, extending your right arm, coming up into your warrior two, again adjusting your stance, flipping your front palm, your reverse, Inhale, straightening into your front leg, reaching forward for your triangle pose, really reach forward. You want to fold at the hip level, wherever your right hand, left hand goes, doesn't matter. What's important is that you really feel the fold at your hip crease here, and you stack your right shoulder on top. Maybe going into your half bind, so see if you can bring your right hand, back of the hand onto your small back, and getting hold of your left thigh, rolling the shoulder back, lengthening into the spine, again nice and slow, keep pressing your front big toe mounts into the floor, bending into your front knee, left hand forward, and see if you can lift your back leg, keeping your hips nice and stacked, shoulders stacked as much as possible, keep reaching back with your right heel, Maybe looking up if that's available, nice and slow, you release your hand from your back, fingertips onto the floor, squaring your hips for the standing splits, so your standing leg can be bent a little bit, and then you start working towards straightening the leg as you fold, forehead towards your shin, nice and slow, you can release, right foot to meet the left. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift, so that you realign into the hips, the spine. Exhale, you fold. Bending into your knees with katasana, reaching your arms up. Nice and slow as you exhale, folding forward. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, you fold, bend your hands, walk back, jump back. Going through your vinyasa, one breath, one movement. Making sure that you're not losing breath. Exhale, stretching back. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, stepping forward. Just like we did before, rising up. Warrior one, straightening your front leg. Left arm under. For your Gaurasan, you rebend into your front knee. Slight arch into the back. Legs are still energized, especially the back leg. Exhale, folding forward. Now a little bit of a change around this time, so pay attention, unwinding your arms, and you're going to come up. But this time opening your warrior two out to the back of the room, so turning your left toes out, back foot 90 degree angle, flipping your front palm, which is now left, you can reverse. Inhale, straightening your front leg, finding your... Triangle pose, your version, and if you have the half bind, maybe you can bring your left hand onto the inside if you want to go further, if that's available, bending into your front knee, and you can maybe go for the full bind if that's available, re-straightening your front leg, and you keep stacking your shoulders. If your hand is on the outside and you still have just a half bind, that's fine. One more breath. 
nice and slow you can release your hands bring your left hand onto the inside of the foot right hand next to it bending into your front knee and you can just walk your hands all the way around passing through a straddle pose prasarita padottanasana coming all the way around to the front planting your left hand inhaling right arm up so we're coming into a twist nice and slow we're going to come into vashistasana so see if you can roll onto the outside edge of your back foot and you're going to bring your right foot on top keep reaching up to the sky with your right hand maybe you can lift your right foot off bending into your knee you place it just behind outside of the mat and you keep reaching up to the sky with your hips maybe arching back reaching your right arm back dropping your head nice and slow see if you can use your core control movements and you lift your right leg up and see if you can step forward inhaling lengthening into the spine and we're going to come into Ardha Chandrasana again one more time bring your left leg up reaching your right arm up if you want to take that further you can bend into your top knee maybe getting hold of your left foot with your left hand see if you can keep your knee as low as possible to get hold of your foot and if you have the hold of your foot then you kick your hand into so your foot into your hand reaching back with your shoulder finding a slight arch into the back otherwise you just stay into normal Ardha Chandrasana working towards straightening your front leg and maybe if you can go further lifting your right hand to your heart nice and slow you release whoops for your standing splits again square the hips reach back folding forward nice and slow the exhale you release Whoa, inhale lengthening into the spine half for lift exhale you fold bending into your knees with Ketasana reaching your arms up we're taking the last side as you exhale folding forward inhale lengthen half for lift exhale planting your hands walking back jumping back your choice you can always skip a vinyasa if you feel this is too much stretching back and we take the other side inhaling left leg up stepping forward rising up into warrior one straightening the leg right arm under garudasan nice and strong onto the back leg rebending into your front knee folding forward on the exhale and winding your arms reaching your right arm forward up and around to open up to the back bending into your right knee flipping your right palm we reverse straightening your front leg finding your triangle so whichever version works for you you can have a half bind or if you want to go for the full bind you can bend into your knee clasping your hands in your back and then you work towards straightening your legs stacking your shoulders deep breathing nice and slow you release right hand to the inside of the foot left hand to mix slowly going through Prasarita Padottanasana coming to the top of the mat planting your right hand you find your twist opening up left arm up pushing your right hand into the floor nice and strong you roll onto the outside edge of your right foot left foot to mid for a side plank nice and strong lifting your left leg you bend your knee you place it behind you maybe staying onto the outside edge of your right foot and you lift into your hips so lengthening into that right leg all the way up to your left fingers dropping your head back so you want to be lifting your hips as much as possible nice and slow using your core muscles see if you can reach your left leg up and you keep it up to stay forward moving into Ardhachrasana left hand forward lifting your right leg up again that's your easy version or if you want to take that further bending into your 
top leg so you keep your knee as low as possible so you can get hold of your foot and then you keep your foot into your hand so that you feel the stretch into your shoulder to help you get into a little bit more of a back bend opening into the hip opening into the shoulder maybe if you can go further if your leg is straightened you can take your left hand to your heart last option maybe looking up if you have the balance Nice and slow, you can release back to your standing splits. Last one, nice and slow, you release. Ooh. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, bending into your knees. We're taking a version of Malasana where you can lift your heels, spreading your knees out. Maybe you can start to come forward if you can and see if you can start bringing your heels towards the floor as much as possible, keeping your knees nice and wide and open. See if you can bring your elbows to the floor. Just letting the breath to relax for a moment. If you can keep bringing your heels towards the floor, flat feet, still lengthening into the spine, nice and slow, inhale, coming up, and see if you can very gracefully sit down onto your buttocks, placing your right foot under your left knee, so we're going for double pigeon, if this is too much for you, you can always just cross your legs but you want to try to bring your shins parallel to the front edge of the mat as much as possible the full version is with your left foot on top of your right make sure it's this way so again your shins are parallel to the front edge of the mat you can adjust your hips so you're really stacking the shins on top of each other for the full version making sure that you flex your toes to protect your knees so your left knee has a tendency to want to lift up. Let's see if you can really push that down so you'll be feeling that into your left hip. Maybe you can push with your hand. You can stay up, easy version, so that the spine is nice and straight and you try to push your pelvis slightly forward, heart up, or if you can go further, maybe you can bring your hands forward, always trying to lengthen into the spine. And if you can really go forward, you can bring your elbows forward but you don't want to lose the spine and rounding the back too much so we want to be feeling the stretch really more so around the hips into the lower back so you do so by reaching forward with your lower ribs your heart lengthening into the spine so your toes are still flexed nice and strong into the legs inhaling and coming up and you can get hold of your left big toe with your left hand, threading your right arm under, getting hold of your big toe. Nice and slow, you can open out. Maybe see if you can take a little straddle on your body. Yes, very good. Still reaching your heart forward. Nice and slow, you're going to take the other side so you can bring your left leg under. Stacking your right ankle on top of your left. Again, easy version, you can just bring your right shin in front. But if you can bring it on top, you don't have any knee issues, that's best. Stacking your shins, flexing your toes. Again, you can start with your hands to the side, slightly behind, so that you push your pelvis to tip slightly forward. And see if you can keep that with your heart forward, spine nice and long. And you start working towards bringing your hands forward. Doesn't need to be forward. If it just comes to the side slightly forward, that's fine. Just making sure that you don't lose the alignment. Pelvis tilting forward, spine lengthening. Maybe going all the way down if you did on the previous side. Forearms to the floor. Maybe forehead. Again, making sure that you keep pressing that right knee down because it wants to lift up. Just staying with the sensations in the right hip, right glute.
nice and slow the inhale coming up you can unwind stretching your legs out maybe you can shake it a little bit oh, nice and slow we're coming down on our backs maybe you can bend into your knees feet my distance apart extending your arms in t-shaped position to take a little windshield wipers extending out to one side both knees together keeping your feet nice and wide so you get into the hips here lower back so just maybe a couple of movements inhaling to center exhaling to the side just to release into the hips and when you feel ready you can extend your legs out if you have a blanket always a good option to take the blanket we Heat up a little bit, creating a little sweat, so you might get cold during your Shavasana. Relaxing completely if you can cover yourself. Palms facing upwards, you let your legs relax completely. Extend your fingers, stretching your wrists, palms, closing your eyes. Letting go of the breath, letting go of everything for a few minutes. And take this opportunity to really relax and feel in the body a moment of peace. And if you want to stay a little bit longer, or much longer in your Shavasana. Just ignore what I'm saying. Stay into your inner world. Otherwise, you can start to deepen the breath, feeling some movement into your toes, fingers. Maybe taking a deep inhale, stretching your arms overhead feeling that lengthening into the front of the body it's like when you wake first thing in the morning or what you were doing when you were a kid if you remember these nice long stretches and then as you exhale you can roll onto one side taking a few breaths in a fetal position resting your head on your arm just taking a couple of breaths to let the body come back in connection with the mind, mind in connection with the body. And then inhaling, increasing your hands onto the earth to come up to a comfortable seat. Back to where we started, palms together in front of your heart. And just really noticing what the practice might have brought up to you. At the physical level, mental level, energetical level, any tightness in the body, differences between the left side, right side, any emotions that might have come up. Maybe you've watched how you react to the practice. Tip of the thumbs to the third eye and we bow in gratitude to the divine that surrounds us and is within us. Hari Om Tat Sat. Peace, love and light.